then once it gets to the Jews... Researchers from Environment for Development Initiative from Akere University are on a familiarization tour in the Albert and Graben to enable academia and research fellows familiarize with activities and operations in Uganda's oil and gas sector with the view of fostering researchable projects, constructive dialogue and policy development on environmental risk management and responsible oil and gas operations in the sensitive ecosystem of Lake Albert and Matson. And so there must be concerted effort, deliberate effort, to ensure that the environment is catered for in terms of vegetation cover. I think you've not observed that uh, much of the vegetation has been removed to allow the different infrastructure to be implemented. So I only hope that there will be a deliberate plan to put up some vegetation cover in areas where we don't have these facilities. Uh, so that the environment will not suffer a lot of stress as a result of the developments in oil. Since oil extraction comes with the negative effects of climate change, waste treatment plants like the Luero Industries Waste Treatment Plant are established to recycle waste products from oil extractions. We have two thermal uh, desorption units uh, that handle the solid waste. Eh? So basically what happens there is uh, we heat this waste to 700 degrees. And at that temperature, the base oil and the water vaporize out of it. So we, we, the, the base oil is sent back to Sinoc for use. The waste water is taken to the water treatment facility. And uh, the, the solid material is taken to the landfill for stabilization. Researchers also noted the need to implement resilient and adoption of biodiversity conservation impacts on environment and water resource management to mitigate the effects of climate change. And I uh, also noticed that uh, Sinoc uh, has tried to plant trees, but the effort is being frustrated by browsing by, the, uh, by livestock. So I think there is a need to have a, a clear understanding between the communities to ensure that what is done as regrowing the, the area succeeds. But as you know, uh, these fossil fuels are dirty technologies which produce a lot of carbon. So we are trying to see, because remember, there is no way for us at Environment for Development we can say, no, we have to preserve environment, there is no need of exploiting our resources, no. But how can we exploit our resources uh, um, in a such a way that carbons are reduced, carbons are minimized? Interdisciplinary research was also emphasized, noting that informed research will contribute to sustainable planning in maximizing the benefits of Uganda's oil and gas resources to aid policy development. Sada Mubale, UBC News.